Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Mike here from Tradewinds RV Center. This is your Flagstaff 21DS. We're going to be doing a walkthrough on it. It comes with a Camco dual battery box. It's a single interstate battery in there. This has two propane tanks. These are 30 pounders. These are purged and filled all the way for you. It has an FIC power tongue jack with a docking light. Got a little sleeve there for your seven way to set in. Stabilizer jacks on each corner of the unit. Got a docking light here. It's a storage compartment. Get your hitching in there and your jack cranks. This is your freshwater fill and your freshwater drain. You do have your ram slide out here. You can lubricate that slide out underneath. You want to hit the wiper seals as well. Get those lubricated. It's a rubber seal conditioner. You might want to look into the paint protection for your fiberglass unit. Also, the interior protection uh, protects your fabrics. Would also look into checking your bearings every 10,000 miles or getting them packed yearly. Here's your sewer outlet. You got your gray valve on the left, black on the right. This has an antifreeze inlet, your city water connection, and your tank flush. So this is for black and gray, the tank flushes. What you want to do is hook up your sewer hose like I do here, run it to a proper dump station, open up both valves. Drain the system out once the tanks have been evacuated. What you want to do is hook up to this connection here. Activate your water and it activates the sprayer inside the tanks that will rinse off the tank walls and the sensors, immediately evacuating anything that could still be backed up in there. Here's your cable and satellite prep. 30 amp service, it's about a 25 foot cord. Stabilizer jacks on the rear. This is a rear ladder as well. This is your access panel for your refrigerator for maintenance. This is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. Here's your suburban water heater. This is a six gallon water heater. This is gas and electric. Here's your switch for electric right there. There's also a switch on the inside too. This does have an outside shower. Spare tire mounted on the back. You have a railing here for your grill. And you have a quick connect right underneath and a set of low point drains for your hot and cold water lines. Here's your furnace exhaust, 110 receptacles, cable outlet. You got two outdoor speakers and ventilation for your stovetop range. And your TV will transfer outside to this bracket. We're gonna head inside now. As soon as you walk in, you'll have your converter your 110 breaker and 12 volt fuses, your monitor panel with all your light switches, battery and tank levels, your water pump, water heater, awning control, slide control. This comes with a Furion 32, 22, or it's 24 inches I believe. IRV stereo, this is a DVD player as well. This has three different zones. Two of the zones are inside. One exterior zone, this has a suburban stovetop oven with battery igniter. Over here, you have a light switch for your main lights above your bed, a charging center, 110 receptacles. You can see that the bed latches here and there. All you need to do is fold the sofa down and you can lay the bed down over top of the sofa. Fire extinguisher is located there. That's good for electronics and liquids. 
We have your thermostat here on the wall. This is a Coleman Mac thermostat, AC and furnace. We already have your Dometic refrigerator here. This has auto changeover. So when you put it in auto mode, like such, it's gonna automatically determine where to draw power from. So when you put it in auto mode, if you're plugged into 110, it's gonna automatically run off the 110. If the 110 is not available, it switches to the battery and gas as a combination. And then directly below that, we have your water bypass valves. So they're pointing at the tank that's allowing it to fill. Don't forget, you got a high and cold line. And then you have here your water filter housing. And then back there, there is a bypass valve. Grab my light. So right back there, there's a valve. I got it set for summer use so you can draw from the freshwater tank. All you need to do is turn that the opposite way and you can winterize from the antifreeze inlet outside. Make sure you pull your filter first. Here you have a brand new grill. This has a slide lock mechanism. So when you run your slide out in, it says to place the slide lock in between the back of the fascia and the wall here. And there's a uh, orange tag that hangs off. You want to leave that tag hanging over the fascia. That way you don't forget to remove the slide lock before running it back out. Here's your bathroom. Got a Dometic toilet with the side flush. GFCI receptacle. This is a nice latch for the shower doors. This says the shower miser. So what it's talking about is this valve here. So as it sits right now, it's not doing anything. If you're running your shower and you want to save some of that water, flipping that valve routes the excess water back to your fresh water tank. That way you're not wasting water. This has a skylight and a max air fan. And that about wraps up the video. Thanks for watching.